Welcome back. Unseasonably mild conditions across the twin tiers today. The jet stream back to the north and west, but eventually as we go through the weekend, the jet stream will be overhead and uh, with a cold front passing through at the same time uh, and some thunderstorms developing along that cold front that could tap into some of those stronger wind gusts and potentially bring them down to the surface. So there's a slight chance for some stronger thunderstorms here as we go through about lunchtime on Saturday. More on that in just a second, but we're in that warmer weather pattern. But as we go through Sunday, some of the cold from Canada starts to push farther off towards the south. It's not going to stick around for very long, but a little dip in the jet stream here, especially across the northeast, bringing more seasonable weather back to our area for a day or two. And then we start to warm things up once again for next week. Second day in a row of record breaking temperatures for us. The old record 56 set in 2067, the unofficial high today. So once again, we blew that record out of the water. Tomorrow's record uh, in the mid 50s again. So no problem breaking another record. That'll be the third day in a row for tomorrow. I'm forecasting 72 for the five degree guarantee. 67 right now in Elmira, 64 in Danville, looking at some mid 50s over towards Bradford. There are some cooler temperatures back towards the north and west. A cold front's going to try and push through overnight tonight, kind of stall out and then lift back to the north here as a warm front tomorrow. So again, this is what we're expecting. Perhaps a couple sprinkles along that cold front this evening. And then as we go through tomorrow morning, here comes that stronger low pressure system. Warm front starts to lift to our north. Now as the front, the warm front is nearby tomorrow morning, there may be a couple rumbles of thunder. Best chance for that happening though in the morning. This all is farther to the north here during the afternoon, putting us squarely in that warm sector. 72 again for the five degree guarantee, but it won't be until about lunchtime on Saturday that that strong cold front comes through with some gusty winds. Temperatures tumble late in the afternoon, end of the evening, and the tail end of the precipitation may briefly change over to some scattered snow showers, but uh, obviously way too warm for anything like that right now. Just a couple plain rain showers, basically just sprinkles out there right now. That's all that's showing up on radar. Future track has the opportunity for a passing shower this evening. Mild through the overnight period, mostly cloudy skies and temperatures uh, only in the mid 40s for lows. And then as we go through the overnight period with that warm front, notice there may be a, a brief a heavier shower, maybe a rumble of thunder right around daybreak tomorrow morning. That quickly lifts to the north though, and most of tomorrow will be dry and exceptionally mild for this time of year. Some peaks of sunshine through the afternoon as well. Again, temperatures into the lower 70s, and then we'll time out that cold front for Saturday. Uh, early Saturday morning, we should be dry, but getting closer to lunchtime, that's when a, a narrow line of convection will move through and we can't rule out uh, some damaging wind gusts, isolated damaging wind gusts, and then things start to quiet down through the afternoon. For today, we forecast 64, 67, the unofficial high, and again, it was a new record. 44 tonight with a scattered shower possible. 72 for tomorrow's five degree guarantee. Maybe an early shower or rumble of thunder, but the afternoon will be dry. And then an active weather day on Saturday with those thunderstorms around lunchtime, gusty winds, temperatures tumble. 36 with flurries on Sunday, but the extended forecast has another warming trend through midweek. 56 on Wednesday, and then as we look beyond that, some of the longer range computer models showing another cool down as we approach the following weekend. But a lot of ups and downs here in the temperature department. But again, the big weather story, the record breaking temperatures tomorrow, mm -hmm. no 72. doubt, will be the third day in a row of record breaking. It looks like a seven months. day you'd see in spring. That's right. I mean, it's early to even mid May temperatures mm -hmm. uh, here in February. All right. Thanks, Joe. Okay. Thanks a lot, Joe.